Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss some not so common ways at looking at common identities. I'm going to call them hidden identities. Let's start with the squared identity. This is a very common identity which is taught in grade 11. It can be written in two other ways. For instance, if we make sine squared theta the subject of the formula, we would get sine squared theta equals to 1 minus cos squared theta. However, this identity can be taken further because if you look at the right hand side of this identity, this is actually a difference of two squares. And that means we can factorize the right hand side to get 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta, meaning sine squared theta can be written as 1 minus cos theta multiplied by 1 plus cos theta. It can come in handy in an exam situation. Take for instance this example. Let's suppose we wanted to prove that sine squared theta divided by 1 minus cos theta equals to 1 plus cos theta. It's pretty obvious at this point that sine squared theta is the easiest place for us to make a change. So I'm going to replace sine squared theta with 1 minus cos squared theta. Since we now know that 1 minus cos squared theta is a difference of two squares, we can now turn to this identity and factorize it according to the rules for difference of two squares. And just like that, the identity is proven. And before we move on, remember, there is a similar version of this identity where we make cos squared theta the subject of the formula, and that would give us cos squared theta equals to 1 minus sine squared theta, which in turn can be factorized as a difference of two squares to give 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. Moving on to the second hidden identity, and this particular one applies to matriculants. For cos 2 theta, we have the following three identities which are standard and can be found on the formula page. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared theta and finally cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. These are the common ways of representing cos 2 theta. However, in this video I'm going to show you two other ways of representing cos 2 theta. And the first way, you have guessed it, has to do with this last identity for cos 2 theta which is in the form of a squared minus b squared. And we all know from our grade 9 and 10 work that this is a difference of two squares. So we can rewrite cos 2 theta as cos theta minus sine theta into cos theta plus sine theta. An example of an application of this identity is this scenario here. Prove cos 2 theta over cos theta plus sine theta equals to cos theta minus sine theta. While this is a basic identity, the point I want to illustrate here is when you look at cos 2 theta, you now know that it can be written as a difference of two squares. And therefore, this is going to influence your choice of identity. Usually, most people just guess which identity to write between these three. However, you can take your clue from the denominator. If you have cos theta plus sine theta in the denominator, or even cos theta minus sine theta, this serves as a clue to you that you need to rewrite cos 2 theta as a difference of two squares. So the first thing I would do is to substitute cos 2 theta by its identity as found in the formula page, and then go on to factorize the numerator and write it as a difference of two squares factorized. And just like that, the identity is proven. Now, I want us to talk about the last identity for cos 2 theta. We know that cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, earlier, we spoke about the squared identity. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Let's manipulate this and multiply it by 1. So now in the next step, we are going to replace this 1 with cos squared theta 
plus sine squared theta. According to the squared identity, this is equal to 1. So we're just manipulating that expression. In the next step, we're going to FOIL this. This is just an acronym for saying EXPAND. Cancelling out the like terms, since they have opposite signs, gives us. What this simply means is cos 2 theta is equal to cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta. And by extension, this also means that cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta is equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So in conclusion, cos to theta can also be written as cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta. Remember, with trigonometry, manipulation is the name of the game. Watch out for our next video where we discuss some tips and tricks on proving identities. Until next time, goodbye.